ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाया शेखर जॉइन इन दैट्स फाइन गो अहेड प्लीज शेखर थैंक यू Oh, um, should I do invocation, Mata Ji? I've already done the invocation. You can read the chapter number and the title of the chapter, and then you can start. Thank oh. you. Okay, chapter nine, answers by citing the Lord's version. Shri Sukhuvacha, Atma Mayam Brate Rajan, Parasyanu Bhavatmanah. नगते तात संबंधह सपना जस्तुरिवान जसह श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी सेड ओ किंग अनलेस वन इज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द एनर्जी ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉडहेड देयर इज नो मीनिंग टू द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ द प्योर सोल इन द प्योर कॉन्स कॉन consciousness consciousness with the material body that relationship is just like a dreamer seeing his own body working yarhi vava mahim nishve parasmin kala maya yo sorry sorry to bother you you oh, missed yeah. text to Oh yes, sorry, Mataji. Bahuru pai va bhati maya ya bahuru paya rama mano guneshvasya mama hamiti manyate. The illusioned living entity appears in so many forms offered by the external energy of the Lord while enjoying in the modes of material nature. They in gauged living entity misconceives thinking in terms of i and mine shrika please unmute yourself and then recite you're on mute at the moment please oh, oh sorry As soon as the living entity becomes situated in his constitution, glory, and begins to enjoy the transcendence beyond time and material energy, he at once gives up. the the two misconceptions of life i and mine and thus becomes fully manifested as the pure self atma tatva vishuddhyatam yadaha bhagavanatam brahmane darshayan roopam avyalik vrata dratah o king the personality of godhead being very much pleased with the lord brahmana brahma brahma because of his non deceptive non deceptive penance in bhakti yoga presented his eternal and transcendental form before brahmana and that is the objective goal for purifying the conditioned soul आदि देव जगदाम्भरु गुरुहु स्वदिश्यामास्तयाशिशुक्षयेक्षतः ताम नाद्य गच्छद्रिसमत्तसम्मताम प्रपंच निर्माण फितिर्यया बवेत लूट ब्रह्मा the brahma brahma the first spiritual master supreme in the universe could not trace out the source of his lotus seat and while thinking of creating the material world he could not understand the proper direction for such creative work nor could he find out the process for such creation 
सचिंतयान वक्षरम मेक धाम्बस उपस्तन धीर कदी थम वचो विभ परिस्तेशु यक्षो दशमेखा विम्सम निष्किं चनानानाम नपयत्थान विदुह while thus engaged in thinking in the water, Brahmaji heard twice from nearby two syllables joined together. One of the syllables was taken from the 16th and the other from the 21st of Sparsa alphabets, and both joined to become the wealth and wealth of re renounced order of life. Nisamya tad bakr draksha hadiso velokya tatranya tapasya mahanaha sadisyana mastaya vishtam satadditam tapasupadishtai vadadhe manaha. When he heard the sound, he tried to find the speaker, searching on all sides. But when he was unable to find anyone besides himself, he thought it was wise to sit down on his lotus feet firmly and gave his attention to the execution of penance as he was instructed. Divyam sahasra saptam amogha darsana jitan nilatma vijitho bhavendriya Lord Brahma underwent penances for one thousand years by one thousand years by the calculations of the demigods. He heard this transcendental vibration from the sky and he accepted it as divine. Thus he controlled his minds and senses, and the penances he executed were a great lesson for the living entities. Thus he is known as the greatest of all aesthetics. Tasmai swalo kam bhagavan sabajitah Sandar sayam asaparam nayat param Vyapeta sankles vimosa sadvasam Swadrista vadbir purusaya bishtutam The personality of Godhead, being thus very much satisfied with the penance of Lord Brahma, was pleased to manifest his personal abode Vaikuntha, the supreme planet above all others. This transcendental abode of the Lord is adored by all self-realized persons, freed from all kinds of miseries and fear from illusory existence. Pravartate yatharajastamastayo satvam chamistam natchakala vikramaha nayat in that personal abode of the Lord, the material modes of ignorance and passion do not prevail, nor is there any of their influence in goddess in goodness. There is no predominant predominance in the influence of time, so what to speak of the illusory external energy, it cannot enter that region without discrimination. Both the demigods and the demons worship the Lord as divine. Syama Fadhata Satra Patalochanaha Pisanga Pastra Surucha Supeshachaha Sadve chatur bahava on mishamani praveka niska parana suva chasaha. The inhabitants of the Vaikuntha planets are described as having a glowing sky blush complexion. Their eyes resemble lotus flowers. Their dress is of yellowish color and their bodily features very, very attractive. They are just the age of growing youths. They have full hands. 
They are nicely decorated with pearl necklaces with ornamental melodations and they appear to be effluent. Pravala vai duryam ranala varjasah Parishpurat kundala mauli malina some of them are effluent, like coral and diamonds in complexion, and have garlands on their heads, blooming like lotus flowers, and wear some earrings. Prajis nubir yah parito virajate, lasad vimana vali bir mahatmanam, vidyotamana pramodata madubihi. The Vaikuntha planets are also surrounded by various aeroplanes, all glowing and brilli brilliantly su situated. These aeroplanes belong to the great Mahamthas, or devotees of the Lord. The ladies are as beautiful as lightning. Because of their celestial complexions and all of these combined together appear just like the sky, decorated with both clouds and lightning. Shri Ryatta Rupi Nurgaya Padhayo Karoti Manam Bahudha Vibhuti Bihi Prem Kham Sitaya Kuru Kuru Makar Anugatair the goddess of fortune in her transcendental form is engaged in the loving service of the Lord's lotus feet and being moved by the black bees, followers of spring, she is not only engaged in ver variated pleasure, Service to the Lord, along with her constant companions, but is also engaged in singing the glories of the Lord's activities. The Darsa Trakila Sadva Tampatim, Shriya Patim Yakya Patim Jagat Patim, Sunanda Nanda Prabhala Hanadi Bihi. Lord Brahma saw in the Vaikuntha planets the personality of Godhead, who is the Lord of the entire devotee community, the Lord of the Goddess for, of Fortune, the Lord of all sacrifices, and the Lord of the universe, and who is served by the foremost servitors like Nanda. Sundana, Prabhala, and Ahana, his immediate associate. Prutya Prasadha Bi Mukham Durga Savam Prasan Hasaruna Lochanam Kiri Tinam Kundalinam Chatur Bujam Pitam Sukam Vakasilakshitam Sriya. The personality of Godhead, seen leaning favorably towards his loving servitors, his very sight in interacting and attractive, appeared to be very much satisfied. He had a smiling face decorated with an enchanting reddish hue. He was dressed in yellow robes and wore earrings and a helmet on his head. He had four hands and his chest was marked with the lines of the god dust of fortune adhyarhani yasanam mastitam param pratam chatu sorasa panti shakti bihi yuktam baghai sairitatra chatu frai sveva dhamam brahmadanam isvaram the Lord was seated on his throne and was surrounded by different energies like the four, the sixteen, the five, and the six natural opulences, along with other insignificant energies of the temporary character. 
but he was the factual supreme lord, enjoying his own abode. Tad darshana hlada paripulantaro rashatanah prema bharashulo chanah nanama padham bujamasya vishvashrig yatpara maham shena patadhimi gityate Lord Brahma, thus seeing the personality of Godhead in his fullness, was overwhelmed with joy within his heart and thus in full transcendental love and ecstasy his eyes filled with tears of love he thus bowed down before the lord that is the way of the highest perfection for the living being paratmasama Tam priya manam samupasti tam kavim prajavisarke nejasasanarhanam pabasae sat sammita soji chagira priya priyam prita manakares prasan. And seeing Brahma present before him, the Lord expected him as worthy to create living beings to be controlled as he desired and thus being much satisfied with him the lord shook hands with brahma and slightly smiling addressed him thus shri bhagavan uvacha tvaya ham tosita samyag vedha garba shishrukshaya chiram brat the beautiful personality of Godhead addressed Lord Brahma, O Brahma, impregnated with the Vedas, I am very much pleased with your long accumulated penance, with the, the desire for creation. Hardly am I pleased with the Pesadu mystic. Param Varaya Badram Te Varesama Bhavanchitam Brahmantreya Parishna Maha Pamsa Madarsana Vidh I wish you good luck, O Brahma. You may ask from me, the giver of all benediction, all that you may desire. You may know that the ultimate benediction as the result of all penances is to see me by realization. Mani sita nubavoyam mama loka valokanam kyaru pasuta rahasi takata paramam tapah. The highest professional in you to see is the personal perception of my abodes. And this has been possible because of your submissive attitude in the performance of severe penance according to my order. Pratadishtam maya tatra Tvai karma vimohite Tapo mehrayam sakshad Atma ham tapaso nagaha O sinless Brahma, you may know from me that it was I who first ordered you to undergo penance when you were perplexed in your duty. Such penance is my heart and soul, and therefore penance and I non-different. Hare Krishna. Thank you. For the nice recitations. Can you see? Can you hear me? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, yes, we can hear you. Uh, 
I'm not sure. Well, I can't see you, probably. Is... You can't see me? No. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I guess now you can see me. Yes, Prabhuji. You can share your screen as well, Prabhuji. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So we will be going through three verses today, uh, 13, 14, and 15 verse of ninth chapter, second canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So let's start. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Narayanam namaskritya naram chayva narottamam devim saraswatim vyasam tato jayamudireyat Nashtaprayeshu abhadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati uttama shloke bhaktir bhavati neshtaki yam bravrajanta manupe tamape tatyam vaipayano viraka tara ajuava putre titan mayatayo taro vinedustam sarvabhu tradayam vadimana tosti So let's chant the verses and go through the translation and the purport by His Divine Grace, Isla Prabhupada. Brajishnu bhir yaha parito virajate lasidva mana vali bhir mahatmanam vidyotamanaha pramadotamadhyu bhi savidyu dabhra vali bhir yathanabha. Translation, the Vaikuntha planets are also surrounded by various airplanes, all glowing and brilliantly situated. These airplanes belong to the great Mahatmas or devotees of the Lord. The ladies are as beautiful as lightning because of their celestial complexions and all these combined together appear just like the sky decorated with both clouds and lightning. Purport. It appears that in the Vaikuntha planets, there are also airplanes brilliantly glowing and they are occupied by... There, there are also airplanes brilliantly glowing and they are occupied by great devotees of the Lord with ladies of celestial beauty as brilliant as lightning. As there are airplanes, so there must be different types of carriages like aeroplanes and they may not be driven machines uh, may not be driven machines as we have experienced in this world because everything is of the same nature of eternity bliss and knowledge the airplanes and carrier and carriages are of the same quality as brahma although there is nothing except brahma uh, one should not mistakenly think that there is only void and no variegatedness. Thinking that there is there is due to a poor thinking like that uh, is due to a poor fund of knowledge. Otherwise, no one would have such a misconception of voidness is in, in Brahma. As there are airplanes, ladies and gentlemen. So there must be cities and houses and everything else just suitable to the particular planets. One should not carry the ideas of imperfection from this world to the transcendental world and not take into consideration the nature of the atmosphere as completely free 
from the influence of time as described previously. Next verse. Shri Yatra Rupinya Rupinya Rugaya Pada Yoho Karoti Manam Bahuta Bahudha Vibhuti Vi Prinkham Kshritaya Kusuma Karanugai Vigiriya Mana Priya Karma Gayati Translation The Goddess of Fortune in her transcendental form, is engaged in the loving service of the Lord's lotus feet. And being moved by the black bees, followers of spring, she is not only engaged in variegated pleasure, service to the Lord, along with her constant companions, but is also engaged in singing the glories of the Lord's activities. Shriya Patim Yadnya Patim Jagat Patim Sunanda Nanda Prabalar Prabalar Hana Prabala Prabalar Hana Dibhi Swapar Shadagrahi Parisevitam Parisevitam Vibhum. Sorry, I got a bit of a cold, so struggling little bit. Translation Lord Brahma saw in the Vaikuntha planets. Uh, the personality of Godhead, who is the Lord of the entire devotee community, the Lord of the Goddess of Fortune, the Lord of all sacrifices, and the Lord of the universe, and who is served by the foremost servitors like Nanda, Sunanda, Prabhala, Arhana, his immediate associates. When we speak of a king, it is naturally understood that the king is accompanied by his confidential associates. Like his secretary, private secretary, aide de camp, camp, ministers, and advisors. So, also when we see the Lord, we see him with his different energies, associates, confidential servitors, etc. So, the Supreme Lord, who is the leader of all living entities, the Lord of all devotee sects, the Lord of all opulences, the Lord of sacrifices. And the enjoyer of everything in this entire creation is not only the Supreme Person, but also is always surrounded by his immediate associates, all engaged in their loving transcendental service to him. So we'll start our Mangala Charana and then we can start our discussions. Om Adnyanti Mirandasya Dhyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Prasmaya Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Tapadakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Mitam Tam Sajeevam Sa Advaitam, Sa Avadhutam, Parijana Saitam, Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Shri Radha, Krishna Padan, Sahagana Lalita, Shri Vishakam Vitam He Krishna Karuna, Sindhu, Dina Bandhu, Jagatpate, Gopesha Gopika, Kant, Radha Kant, and Mosupe, Tapta Kant, and Agaurangi, Radhe Vrinda, Vaneshwari, Rishabhanu, Sute Devi, Pranamami, Hari Priya. Maum Vishnapada, Krishna Prashtai, Bhutale, Srimade, Bhaktivedanta Swami, Idiramine, Namaste Saraswati Devi, Gauravani, Pracharine, Nirvishesha, Shinivadi, Pachat, Tadeshitarine, Panchakal Pataru, Pescha, Kripas Hindu, Pevacha, Patitanam, Pavane, Pio, Vishname, Pio, Namonamaha, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitan, Prabhunitan, the Shri Advaita, Vadadhi, Shivas, Adi Gauravinda. Krishna Hari, Krishna 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 Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna Hari, Krishna 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 Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna Hari, Krishna 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 Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Jan Lamita Vajavukanaka, Dhato Sankirtane, Kapitro, Kamala, Taksho, Shomra, Dijavro, Yavadharam Apalo, one day Jagat. Priya Karu Karna Vataru, Yuntah Pravishma Mamacham Pasitam, 
ಸಂಜೀವಯತ್ಯಖಿಲಶಕ್ತಿಧರಸ್ವಧಮ್ಯಂಶ್ಚರಣಾಶ್ರವಣಾತ್ಮಗಾದಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಾನ್ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ಪುರುಷಾಯ ಪುಖ್ಯಂ ಆರಾಧ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಪ್ರಜೇ ಶತನಯ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಮೃಂದಾವನ ರಮ್ಯ ಕಾಚಿತ ಉಪಾಸನಾ ವ್ರಜವಧೂ ವರ್ಗೇಣಯ ಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಅಮಲ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕುಮಾರ್ಥೋ ಮಹಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭೋರ್ಮತ ತತ್ರಾದರ ನಾಪರ So thank you very much everyone. Let me expand my... Okay. So, this, um, as we have completed the last chapter 2.8 where basically Lord Brahma is yeah is giving an idea of this whole creation yeah. and then in this particular chapter uh, it is coming to a point that what is the description of uh, lord's own planet and that's what the details are parikshit maharaj is asking the right questions for our benefit and that's what we are going through so uh, in earlier chapter if we see that parikshit maharaj is asking a very uh, if we see the structure of shrimad bhagavatam the last prayer uh, i just chanted prema kumartho mahan it's the it's if person who is absorbed in reading shrimad bhagavatam um and they have got a proper taste for lord's leela nama guna rupa leela that person can read shrimad bhagavatam perpetually continuously for rest of his life because it gives that taste prema kumartho mahan the topmost uh, pleasure of that loving exchange we can get from the shrimad bhagavatam and these three verses we are going to talk today those are hmm, those are telling us the same basic principle of loving exchange between uh, lord and his devotees uh, so in 8th chapter parikshit maharaj asked the question about he basically inspires shukadev goswami to speak hari katha um and he's um narad muni is preaching uh, how he preaches the entire his disciples excuse me so glories of hari katha what is the importance of that what's the what is the first and the foremost reason we listen to hari katha anyone to be purified yes mother ji perfect yeah okay um, answer coming from the realized person the, who has been purified by listening to hari katha for her entire life probably <laughs> palika mata ji thank you so glories of the hari katha is purification of heart and when the heart is purified what happens what's the next step we realize the manifestation of lord in our heart his leela yep. as uh, in chaitanya charitamrita uh, the in the fourth the the reason for mahaprabhu's appearance in the first chapter nadilila is the about the spiritual masters and then chaitanya mahaprabhu establishment of the lord chaitanya as the supreme personality of godhead in the in the, in the second chapter and the third chapter uh, is the external reasons for the appearance of the lord the fourth chapter is the one which is related to what we are discussing today the confidential reason for the appearance of lord chaitanya and if we see that 
uh, in that particular context, um, what comes to our mind is if external external reason is to give the mercy, um, as Shila uh, Jiva Goswami says in the Priti Sandarbha, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is, is the mad emperor. He is distributing the love of God to anyone and everyone. Like the mad emperor, he has opened his, uh, his treasure house. Now, what's the confidential reason? And it's very obvious if we see that the actual sequence of it. When the love is distributed and the pers the whole entire universe is ready to accept that love uh, of Godhead, what will happen? It's just a loving exchange. The the mm, if we if we take any commodity in this world, there is a purpose, right? Mm, for example, if we take this petroleum, what's the purpose of that? The purpose is to facilitate our sense gratification uh, for various reasons. Um, that is the base purpose. But the the secondary purpose behind is beh behind that is to um, to speed up the activities, our ideas. For example. To move from one place to another. Uh, second, if we get this uh, facilities of different equipments and instruments and how to run that. So that's what the whole principle of this is. Um, commodity is. Where that, where that principle is coming from, that energy. From the main source of energy, which is sun in this material world. And where that sun's energy is coming from, it's coming from the Lord. So unless and until we connect the everything from the material world to the ultimate source, um, it will our understanding will remain at the material level. And one beautiful example uh, was given by Vatinyan Goswami Maharaj. He says that all the uh, Prithvi, Aap, Tej, Vayu, Akash, the five principles, earth, water, fire, air, ether. If we see uh, the dust particle, wherever it is in the, in the sky, finally it will come where? It will come to the earth. It will settle down. It's because it's the basic position of that dust particle is the earth, is to be connected to earth. Same thing, if we see fire, where is the fire? Where, who, who is that ultimate source of fire? That is sun. So the, if we see the direction of fire, which is towards sun, correct? Water, wherever it is falling from, it will ultimately go and meet where? Ocean. So in the same way, uh, our the basic principle, the requirement of the Jivatma, when that Jivatma will be happy, when uh, there is an exchange of love and that ultimate supreme exchange of love will happen when that Jivatma is connected to whom? That supreme source of love to Paramatma, to the Lord. Unless and until that establishment of connection is there between the soul and the super soul, uh, there, there will be a missing link. And that's why if we see this, the, the, the one of my most appealing verses of chapter 9 is the first first verse. It's a beautiful verse it is. Sri Shuko Vacha Atma Atma Maya Mrute Rajan Parasyanu Bhavatmanaha Naghate Tartha Sambandaha Swapna Drush to Rivanjasa Sri Shukudev Goswami said O King, unless one is influenced by the energy of the Supreme Pastor Supreme Personality of Godhead. There is no meaning to the relationship of the pure soul in pure consciousness with the material body. That relationship is just like a dreamer seeing his own body working. Such a beautiful verse it is and it's such a profound meaning. Um, if 
the connection of the soul with the super soul is missing it's there is there is no meaning to it and shukadev goswami says that in with with um it's like he says that at multiple times in throughout shrimad bhagavatam uh, when he is describing the uh, relationship um i i the thought came to my mind is um there is one beautiful poem and an expert singer can sing that poem in a different ragas very beautifully so morning time the uh, singer will sing that uh, beautifully composed poem in a different raga appealing to that afternoon time evening time night time late night early morning he will sing the he can sing the same poem with maybe a little bit of difference in the intonations wordings and all that but the base meaning is same with different ragas with different tunes and that's what shukdev goswami is giving us here in shrimad bhagavatam so of go obviously you uh, we all have just gone through that and that again it brings the 15th chapter 15th verse very important verse sarvasya chaham vidhi sannivishto the whole point of 15th chapter is lord is describing about himself his own own abode and what is the um sanskrit name of this verse uh, of this chapter purushottam yoga yoga means connection to the uh, adding or viyog means subtraction so purushottam purushottam is supreme lord connecting with the supreme lord and that's the name of this chapter and he is giving us here and that's why if we see this uh, 15th chapter very very important verse here natat bhasayate suryo na shashanko na pavakah nat yat gatvana nivartante tad dham paramam mama um in my abode he is saying there is no need of uh, sun moon or fire pavakah um it's self illuminated and we are coming to the same point here in these chapters that um, yeah this is the verse actually natat bhasayate suryo nasa shanko na pavaka yad gatvan nivardante tad dham paramam mama so the supreme abode of mine is not illuminated by the sun or moon nor by fire or electricity those who reach it uh, reach it never return to this material world the spirit and then propad has given the details of um the description of the material uh, sorry the spiritual world vaikuntha planets um i think it's it's worth reading this because this um this is, this is a brilliant purport who would like to read this um it's it's me prabha Yeah, of course, Madhuri. Please do. Hi, Krishna. The spiritual world, world, the abode of the supreme personality of God, at Krishna, which is known as Krishna Loka, Goloka Vrindavan, is described here in the script spiritual sky. There is no need for sunshine, moonshine, fire, or electricity because all the planets are self-luminous. We have only one planet in this universe: the sun. which is self luminous but all the planets in the spiritual sky are self luminous the shining effulgence of all the planets called vaikunthas constitutes the shining sky known as the brahma jyoti actually the effulgence is emanating from the planet of krishna goloka vrindavan part of that shining effulgence is covered by the mahat tatva the material world other than this the ma- major portion of the shining sky is full of spiritual planets which are called vaikunthas chief of which is goloka vrindavan as long as a living entity is in this dark material world he is in conditional life but as soon as he reaches the spiritual sky by cutting through the false perverted tree of this material world he becomes liberated then there is no chance of his coming back here in his conditional life the living entity considers himself to be the lord of this material world but in his liberated state 
he enters into the spiritual kingdom and becomes an associate of the Supreme Lord. There he enjoys eternal bliss, bliss, eternal life and full knowledge. One should be captivated by this information. He should de desire to transfer himself to that eternal world and extricate himself from this false reflection of reality. For one who is too much attached to this material world, it is very difficult to cut that attachment. But if he takes to Krishna consciousness, there is a chance of gradually becoming detached. One has to associate himself with devotees. Those who are in Krishna consciousness, one should search out a society dedicated to Krishna consciousness and learn how to discharge devotional service. In this way, he can cut off his attachment to the material world. One cannot become detached from the attraction of the material world simply by dressing himself in saffron cloth. He must become attached to the devotional service of the Lord. Therefore, one should take it very seriously that devotional service, as described in the 12th chapter, is the only way to get out of, out of this false representation of the real tree. In chapter 14, the contamination of all kinds of processes by material nature is described. Only devotional service is described as purely transcendental. The words Paramamama are very important here. Actually, every nook and corner is the property of the Supreme Lord. But the spiritual world is Paramam, full of six opulences. The Katha Upanishad 2.2.15 also confirms that in the spiritual world there is no need of sunshine, moonshine or stars. Na tatra suryo pati na chandra tarakam. For the whole spiritual sky is illuminated by the internal potency of the Supreme Lord. That supreme abode can be achieved only by surrender and by no other means. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mataji. Wonderful. So, you can see such a powerful purport Srila Prabhupada has given us that he says that um, in this um, in as soon as the spiritual world by cutting through the false perverted tree of Mate, he becomes liberated and then there is no chance of his coming back. And then one should be captivated by this information. Such a powerful statement Shri Prabhupada is giving us here. And the beginning of this chapter, if we see the first verse, uh, Shri Bhagavan Vacha Urdhamula Madhashakam Ashwatham Prahuravayam Chandamsi Yasya Paranani Yastam Veda Samedavit. So, that's what Prabhupada was giving in that in the purport, what Mataji just uh, went through. Um, Lord says here, uh, this, it is, the Supreme Personality of God had said, it is said that there is an imperishable banyan tree that has its roots upward and its branches down and whose leaves are the Vedic hymns. One who knows this tree is a knower of the Vedas. And then, um, in the next verse, it, uh, Lord immediately gives the details of the branches of the, this tree uh, extend downward and upward, nourished by the three modes of material nature. The twigs are the objects of the senses. This tree also has roots going down and these are bound to be the fruitive actions of human society. So, and then... In the 15th chapter, Lord tells about his own abode and then we have, he has given what are all the reasonings why a person gets attached to this material world and what he likes uh, in every person uh, so that the person can go back to uh, the spiritual world. In the 12th chapter, he says that Yetu karmani sarvani mai sandhya matpraha anandya nai vayogena maam dhyayanta upasate. So, mm, the basic crux of this is constantly engaged in his Nama, Guna, Rupa, Leela and in the devotional service, in the in the path of Bhakti. That is the 
background that is the basis of uh, the entire details of this so uh, coming back to our today's verses um we we went through that beautiful purport and as now you can relate to this uh, it appears that in vaikuntha planets there are also airplanes brilliantly glowing so if every object in the spiritual world is completely conscious um that means for the service of the lord um that object can take a shape and serve the lord and lord himself will empower uh has empowered every living entity uh in the spiritual world so that they can serve him at the best extent it's and what is that service so for example when we were kids some of our relatives were very uh they were working in some corporate offices and um my father and mother were just normal teachers uh in india but those relatives when they used to come to our house they they, they used to tell us that in our office we get free meal and free this and free that and all that and we were thinking wow amazing very nice office is giving everything to you but then one one day my father told me that you need to qualify to go to that office to get that free facility that free facility doesn't mean much to them means when when you are at that very high post that it's just normal because that free facility is say, it becomes secondary your job your qualification and your work becomes the primary objective and for that reason the, the facilities are given so in it's a crude example but uh if we take the vaikuntha planet this whole aeroplanes and um the beauty and the all description here is because the basic principle is serving the supreme lord who has all the opulences so all these facilities everything is shared by the lord because um the devotees are serving him constantly example i can tell you um with my own example in a puja when we do pujari service um in the temple if somebody is wearing that upavastra and dhoti or all that and then we are doing the service at the altar um people give respect to you immediately because you are closer to the lord if someone thinks that because i am a pujari and i am getting that respect that's the biggest foolish mistake because as soon as you come out of that and if you are wearing some normal clothes people won't even notice you um it doesn't mean much because the pujari that person that jivatma is following certain principles following that mood of service following those regulated uh, regulatories for serving the lord that's why lord has shared that opulence of um, respect and kind of yes awe and reverence type of thing but who does it belong to it belongs to the lord not to us it it's got nothing to do with that um person's qualification that he is like lord as prabhupad used to say that uh, the example of post office uh, for the deity worship the, the post box is important because it is empowered by the post office that somebody puts the letter and then it goes to the respective destination is the same way that particular jivatma is there at that place is chosen as an instrument for that time but if that jivatma thinks if that pujari thinks that i am qualified and that ego becomes bigger than the deity uh, of the lord himself then lord will make sure that slowly you will go you will get out of it yeah and the same 
example is applicable for the Vaikuntha planets. Uh, that person, that Jivatma has that purity of the mood of service, perpetually, eternally connected to the Lord. Like the example we were saying, earth, particle of earth has to be connected to earth. In the same way, if the Jivatma is connected to Paramatma, to the super soul, then all these facilities, uh, we can join the dots. It, we, it can be connected. In the same way, if we go to the next verse here, uh, the goddess of fortune in her transcendental form is engaged in the loving service of the, uh, of the Lord's lotus feet. Now, mm, Shri is goddess of fortune. And what is the, in, in a various context, Shri means what? It's the it's one of the it is the opulence of the Lord. The she that means the energy or the opulence when it is owned by somebody, uh, that person can decide how that opulence should be uh, placed, how it should be used. If a person thinks that the opulence belongs to me or it is something allocated to me, um, that means it's a misunderstanding. This, uh, the first verse of Isopanishad, Eshavasamidam saram yatkincha jagatyam jagat. Everyone is allocated with certain uh, quota as per their uh, desire and what they deserve. Tena tyaktena bhunjita magrudha kasya suddhanam. So, we should be satisfied and contented with that. And that's one of the moods of in the in the spiritual world as well. The goddess of fortune, there can be innumerable goddesses of fortune in the spiritual world. But every goddess of fortune there, expansion of the supreme goddess of fortune, Srimati Radharani, uh, she's completely contented in the service of the uh, in the loving service of the Lord's lotus feet. And um, that is the core principle uh, here. She is not only engaged in variegated pleasure, service to the Lord, along with her constant companions, but is also engaged in singing the glories of the Lord's activity. So what does that mean? That means there is no tinge of any envy. There is no tinge of any pride. There is no tinge of any separate sense of enjoyment that I am beautiful, I am something like this. So she is singing the glories of the Lord's activities. That means it's a beautiful atmosphere of cohesiveness. So all other goddesses of fortune, all other um, devotees there, they are singing the glories of the Lord. One of the prayers um, I used to listen in my childhood. Uh, that time the brain was not matured enough to understand the reasoning. I'm not saying now it's matured properly, but now at least we, I know the meaning of it. Um, in that prayer, um, that uh, saint says that how that personalities in the, in the spiritual world are, and he gives the example of that in eight stanzas, and one of the stanzas he said that Ani granthopa jiviye visheshi lokiye drishta drishta vijaye ho aveji. He says that every single personality in the live, in the spiritual world is like a walking encyclopedia. They know everything about the path of bhakti. Visheshi lokiye. And it's not the same. There, there is a variegatedness. Everyone has their own complete understanding of what their nature is, what their um, service to the Lord is and who the Lord is. So when they describe that to each other, it's very pleasure. It's very pleasurable. It's a, everyone wants to listen to that because the, those personalities they are not talking about themselves. Visheshi lokiya, drishta drishta vijay. When they used to see each other, um, they will say, "Oh, such a glorious uh, devotee you are, uh, oh Aveji, wonderful." So you can imagine the mood in that in the in the spiritual world uh, there. Um, then in one of in other stanzas he said that uh, how those personalities are um, 
बोलते जे अर्णव पियुषांचे व्हॉट एव्हर वर्ड दे स्पीक इज जस्ट नेक्टर दे वोंट से एनिथिंग एल्स अदर देन ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड अदर देन द लीलाज ऑफ द लॉर्ड ऍक्टिव्हिटीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड सो हाऊ दॅट ऍटमॉस्फिअर मस्ट बी इट्स फुल ऑफ लाव अँड शिला भक्तीचारू महाराज से इज दॅट अनलेस अँड अँटील there is an exchange of there is a loving exchange there cannot be happiness uh, because and why there is a misery in the material world he gave he gave a very beautiful explanation in one of the classes he says that mm, we don't have that understanding of love our mm, our understanding of relationship is based on the utility how useful that person is to me a uh, lot of times people do that uh, develop the relationship as an investment so tomorrow it will be useful to me that's why um, he is close to me or she is close to me and he is not that close to me something similar and bhakti charu mara says that um, that is a fundamental flaw that is that is very much is that shila prapa wanted to er- eradicate that complete idea of this type of relationship uh, and he introduced that yes we are just servants our our responsibility our eternal duty is to serve the lord yeah and his devotees and everyone else and create that atmosphere of vaikuntha lok uh, of course when bhakti charu mara says that he has that mm, love in his heart he has that mood of servitude he has that perfection purity everything so naturally it has a tremendous potency in his every word um, so let, let so let's go to the next verse we have just 5 uh, 10 minutes and here a uh, few points i was thinking that um, since lord brahma is describing the empire of this world and he is saying um and propad is giving us here that uh, telling us here that lord comes with his all with with his um, empire his secretary private secretary everybody um why and again coming back to bhakti charu maharaj's um, point um the love is the basic principle the exchange of loving relationship and that's why he comes with uh, with all his associates because that loving exchange is very beautiful that has that is the basis of the past times of the lord um and what is there for us to learn what is the take away from this um so that we the, the conditioned soul will get attracted uh to the supreme personality of god head bring close bring everyone closer to the uh, lord to his leela and that's the whole crux behind our sankirtan movement uh, distribution of books preaching and bringing everyone uh, to the platform that yes there is a, mm, there is a world which exists that has only loving exchanges and no um which is free from kama krodha lobha madha moha matsara lust anger greed illusion envy pride etc so that's what um we are doing and the, the point of deity worship is also the same to develop that pure love in our heart to um so that lord will reveal himself um and guide us in our heart that how to serve him um our preaching movement our um, sincere efforts in the devotional service uh, it creates adnyata sukruti to others because they see this they get attracted to it and that's how uh, the person slowly gets purified and when the person is attracted to the movement to this path of bhakti um they can experience the same bliss um and that was the 
point uh, in this particular aspect of uh, ex explanation of what is the what is the what are the details of the Vaikuntha planets? So um, obviously, then the technicalities will come. How Lords expands himself, uh, Swamsh and Vibhinnamsh. There are two types of expansions. One is uh, is his ex expansion complete as it is. Um, it's like uh, Lord expanding as Lord Balram and further expansions who are um, complete in their own uh, uh, what do you call it? in their in in their in their own entity in in their own identity whereas others vibhinnamsha are the partial expansions they are part and parcels of the lord and uh, they they are complete only when they are connected to the uh, swamsha to the um, original supreme personality of godhead and that's why in chaitanya charitamrut uh, lord says lord chaitanya says that um, the pure heart is nothing but vrindavan and he says in in uh, when he is explaining it to the devotees says my heart is vrindavan and krishna is performing in his leela in my heart um, Externally, it is difficult to understand for any common man. But when, as we chanted that verse, um, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam Tatradarahanapara. So when he says that Srimad Bhagavatam is giving us that Prema Kumartha Mahan, the Amala Praman of uh, love, of that uh, exchange of exchange of love, and that time. That Samadhi Bhashya of uh, our Acharyas, uh, we can understand what is the meaning of pure heart and how Lord prefer, and how Lord manifests his Leela in the heart of a devotee. Um, so that's what uh, this background behind this uh, these three verses is. Um, and Prabhupada is giving us here that. Uh, so also when we see the Lord, we see him with his different energies, associates, confidential servitors, etc. So the Supreme Lord, who is the leader of all living entities, uh, the Lord of all devotee sects, the Lord of all opulences, Lord of sacrifices, uh, and the enjoyer of everything in his entire creation, is not only the Supreme Person, but also is always surrounded by his immediate associates, all engaged in their loving transcendental service to him. So, our Shila Prabhupada and all our Acharyas have um, given us this, um, given us the glimpse of what that loving exchange and who are his confidential associates. Um, so, let's pray to all the Acharyas, that uh, we will receive their love and their mercy and to purify our heart and we will um, experience this um, unconditional exchange of loving exchange among ourselves, obviously because of or the center will be the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. So I will stop here. There are only four minutes left to nine o'clock. Are there any questions or comments? Oh, Amok Prabhuji is here. Okay. Dandot Pranam, Amok Prabhu. Yes, Falika Mataji, I can see you. Hare Krishna Paragras. Wonderful class. Uh, it's a lot been said in these three verses. I mean, like he, as you said, that Srila Prabhupada is um, wonderfully describing the the nature of the spiritual world and how the interaction between the devotees and the Lord. And uh, by hearing, by understanding, and by listening, I mean, listening and hearing saying, yeah. by understanding to the full extent, um, we we should be attracted to this and we yeah. would love to be the, there. You know, that's why we need to prepare ourselves in such a way yeah. so that one day, May the Lord, you know, give us mercy 
Definitely. We are become qualified. Then, yeah. you know, so that's why Shina Prabhupada has given us in such a detail yes. of is the planet and the the exchange, loving exchange between the devotee, so yeah. that we can get attracted uh, one day, you know, to and get purified here. Definitely. So, yeah. And we can go back. Also, yeah. what you um earlier you mentioned about this material world is not just his own. Like Chaitanya Charan Prabhu this morning class, I don't know whether you listen, uh, but he was really connecting to this to this material world, to the spiritual world. It's not it's not separate. It's everything, you know, it's all the Lord's everything, it's the whole whole universe is Lord's body. So how yeah. we how we understand, how we individually act to to develop that consciousness within ourselves. That so that you know we can be become you know become elevated to that consciousness so that you know in the world this world is not going to be the, the the way you know some some of us I mean before Krishna consciousness the way we acted it is it is it is a gradual process yeah so you know this this planet become Paikanto you know. So Srila Prabhupada has given us everything, you know, like like you, you yourself and so many other devotees are doing the deity service and you know making so much connection with Krishna personally, you know, um serving. It, it, it's, uh, our consciousness is getting purified so that you know um we can be more more connected to Krishna and one day, you know, yeah. it'll be so yeah. nice. Your, your, I have I had personal association of yours and the way you conduct things it was amazing. My deity worship is a very very what do you call very tricky service I should say because yeah. it's one can easily think that I deserve something and you person starts thinking that mm, I am somebody special. I'm a, I'm a God's gift type of thing. And it's a it's a serious danger in performing the deity worship because uh, deity worship should be very purifying all the time. And mm, the development of that purification, the uh, humility and all the virtues which are needed for the even you know, what do you call it? understanding the Brahma realization, Brahma Janati Iti Brahmanyam. So that is the that is the point of deity worship, performing the austerities and penances. But yeah, being closer to the Lord, um, like Srila Prabhupada used to say, mosquitoes are also closer to me, but they're a nuisance. So hopefully, I'm not one of those mosquitoes. But yeah, let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Mataji. Yeah, you're doing wonderful. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Amok Prabhu. Nice to see you. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Dhanavad Pranam. Very nice. The Kata Prabhuji, very beautiful. And the Nectarian has to hear about why couldn't and your explanations are so blissful. Yeah. Um, And also, so... Uh, and a similar kind of thing uh, on why couldn't the planet, the devotees of the Lord in the uh, they go with their concerts in the airplanes and singing uh, the glories of the Lord. Uh, yeah. It is also variegatedly explained. And also on the other day, one of the devotees was asking, does the Vaikuntha have got bees and birds, something like that? And then, <clears throat> so this is variegatedness. It explains, uh, so not only the hum uh, not only the devotees, and also birds, beasts, and trees, everything exists. Uh, even the bumblebees, they sing uh, such kind of paimanika uh, talalana charitani sheshpat gayanti yatra samalakshapanani battuhu and the telian vikasat maduma devinam gande nakandita diopi anilam shipantaha paravatan in your brutasar sachakravaka da tuta sukasat sukatitri barihinam yaha pola halo viramati ajramatra mutsehi Brunga di pe harikata mi vaga yamani. 
but uh, these yeah. are very beautiful uh, things about the vaikuntha everything is happening barricadedness um, yes. and everything is sankulam haripada anitya matra drushtaihi vaidurya markata hemamayaihi vimanayaihi kesham bruhat kadidata asmita so vimukhya krishnaatmanam naraja adhu usmayadhyaihi so very beautiful uh, Uh, <laughs> glorifying about it and also palika mataji was saying okay. about the vaikuntha coming to the earth so this is also explained everything is uh, vaikuntha in fact in the view of the supreme personality of god head so this kumaras mentioned nahi antaram hrudara hrudara bedi bhagavato samasta kukshav atmanam atmani na bho na basiva deerah பாயிட்டிகுலர்ட் வைஷ்ணவேபியோ நமோ நம Thank you so much for the wonderful class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhupada, for a very nice class. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.